What fact is common knowledge in your field, but almost unknown to the rest of the population? Urban heat kills way more people in Australia than bushfires. In the 2009 Black Saturday Bish fires in Victoria, 173 people died in the fires. But over 300 died of the heat prior to that. Also, most of those deaths occur at night, not during th day. People almost always try to exit through the same door they entered. In a crowded venue always take a second to find your exit and then find a second exit. Mark them in your brain just in case. In an emergency most of the crowd is going to go for the main door they came in through. Knowing where another exit is can save your life. Your calf muscles act as a pump for your lymph fluid, which is basically the garbage pickup and immunity doordash of your body. Without flexing your calf, the fluid has no way of moving against gravity. Each time we walk, the muscles contract, squeezing the fluid back up towards the core for processing. That's why sitting for long periods causes swelling in the legs. LPT. Sitting for long periods? Move your ankles up and down to pump the calf. UTIs will often cause confusion in people over 70. Ada. UTI is urinary tract infection and some people can get confused to the point of hallucinations and delirium. It can cause increased weakness which also leads to falls. An elevator will go up to the top of the hoist instead of crash to the floor in most catastrophic failures due to the counterweights. Powerful explosives are so insensitive to shock that it usually takes a smaller more sensitive explosive to set them off. What's something that's really bad for the body but people keep doing it? Not sleeping enough. My Fitbit says I sleep an average of 6 hours 40 minutes a night which is more than 70% of users. WTF? I am not sleeping enough but you all are sleeping even less. Worrying about stuff I have no control over. Sitting without adequate exercise to counter it. Doom scrolling. The sedentary lifestyle. Laying in bed in front of a laptop or sitting at desk in front of a laptop. Smoking and drinking. What is 22 years too old for? High school like drama. My sister is in her freshman year of high school and Jesus I don't miss that. Our teenagers. Throwing a temper tantrum at a store. Having your mom clean your room. High school, teen drama like who gives a shit. Prince Andrew. Allegedly. What missing persons case is the most confusing, doesn't add up. Derek Seehausen. My friend was dating him at the time of his disappearance. He was actively planning his future in medicine. And was last seen in San Diego. I saw him about two weeks before he disappeared. Please send any tips. Edit. Two months. Edit. Edit. Super nice guy. Please share. Paddy Moriarty and his dog Kelly went missing in an outback town in Australia with a population of 12 people. Last seen leaving the pub riding his quad bike the one kilometer distance to his house. He or his dog have never been found and no one has been charged in relation to his disappearance. Brandon Swanson. HTTPS. en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash disappearance underscore of underscore Brandon underscore Swanson. He drove into a ditch and called his parents for help. They stayed on the phone with him for 47 minutes while they drove around looking for him. They heard him say, oh shit, then the phone went silent. They eventually found his car far away from where he said he was but he was never found. Branson Perry, aged 20, disappeared from Skidmore, Missouri in April 2001. He was working on his house with a friend, went to the shed to grab some power cords and was never seen again. Asha Degree she went missing at the age of nine from Shelby, North Carolina, United States, in the early morning hours of February 14, 2000, for reasons unknown.
she packed her book bag, left her family home north of the city and began walking along nearby North Carolina Highway 18. Despite heavy rain and wind, several passing motorists saw her. When one turned around at a point 1.3 miles, 2.1 kilometers, from her home and began to approach her, she left the roadside and ran into a wooded area. In the morning, her parents discovered her missing from her bedroom. No one has seen her since. The Beaumont children, three kids go to the beach, are seen with a mystery man, and never make it back home. Never found out who the man was or where they went. Their parents just recently died without ever getting any closure. Guys who lost a significant amount of weight, 50 plus LBS, how did you do it? Quit drinking alcohol and soda. I really only drink water with lemon now. Quit eating out. Only cook my own food. A lot of chicken vegetables. Nothing fried. And hit the gym multiple times a week. Went from around 250 down to 174 now. Counting calories and working out a few times a week. Edit. Worth flagging that calorie counting is definitely the more important piece here. For me, the best benefit of working out, exercise was helping me stay disciplined with my diet. I was way less inclined to cheat on my diet after getting my ass kicked in a HIIT workout or a long walk. Also want to note it took me close to two years to lose the weight and keep it off. And that's not including failed attempts. I eat right 85% of the time and for that other 15% I eat my favorite foods but my only rule is no. Binge eating. I've tried the 100% no cheat meals crash diet before and gained all the weight back I lost and then. Some after caving. Stopped drinking. Went from 310 to 205 by completely cutting out fast food. Switching to diet soda and hitting the elliptical machine Friday. Saturday and Sunday for 30 minutes. It took a couple years but here I am. I lost 65 pounds. I fast walk 3 miles every day. About 40 minutes. I eat fish and chicken breast only. No red meat. Rice and pasta. And lots of veggies and all the fruit I want. I cook almost all of my meals myself. I cut out alcohol completely. No beer or wine. But I love beer so I drink one non-alcohol beer a day. Also. No sodas or soft drinks. I started in 1988. I'm 6 feet tall and my weight has been stable at 190 for years. I'm 77 years old and other than a few aches and pains in the morning I feel a hell of a lot better than when I was 40. Drinking every day and 265 pounds. Intermittent fasting. I lost 54 pounds in 6 months only eating in an 8 hour window per day. Which actor, actress had the most depressing fall from grace? Amanda Bynes's story breaks my heart. I loved all that. The Amanda show. And what I like about you growing up. She had such a natural sense of humor. It's sad seeing her struggle with her sobriety and mental health. I don't think people growing up today realize how much of a father figure Bill Cosby was to a huge number of us. He was nothing but wholesome in his presentation of himself. For him to commit such ugly and awful things feels like a personal betrayal to all of us who grew up regarding him so highly. What an asshole. Judy Garland. Rest her talented, tortured soul. Lindsay Lohan. She seems to be doing better now but her career could have been way better. Jake Lloyd. No one deserves that, much less a kid. Aaron Carter. I remember the years leading up to his death his behavior was super erratic and was falling out of favor with the public. Then he got the weird face tattoo and it did him zero favors as I think people used it as proof that he was unwell. Feel bad for the kid. He didn't deserve to die so young and especially not the way he did. No one does. How to say, fuck you, to someone but in a classy way. Have the day you deserve. Fuck you, wearing a suit. 
I am jealous of every person that has never met you. Per my previous email, wisdom has been chasing you, but you have always been too quick. Silence is golden with your presence. Subscribe, my brothers.